We all know the feeling. You're in a rush to pick up a few groceries. Maybe you only have 30 minutes that you can devote to the gym before you need to head out and go to that next appointment. So you quickly arrive at your destination, you find a parking spot, and you get ready to head inside. But what happens when you're in such a rush that you forget one thing to protect yourself? With the help of Olathe Police, we spent about 30 minutes in a busy retail parking lot in the city. Here's what we found. Putting himself in the shoes of a criminal, Sergeant Brian Hill made his way around a parking lot of empty cars in search of items worth money. In minutes, he found what could have been a criminal's first targets. A look inside this vehicle here, I can see a purse on the floorboard. The vehicle's unlocked, I can reach inside, grab the purse. And I'm gone within a few seconds. And this vehicle here, that looks like it could be a pocketbook or something of value. It appears the doors are unlocked. If there's credit cards inside, I can quickly turn around and use those at nearby businesses before anybody has a chance to cancel them. With it being such a nice day, this owner decided to leave their window halfway down. Unfortunately, I can reach inside, unlock the door, open it up, and quickly go inside and see if I can find anything of value. If these vehicles were locked, Police say our chances of being broken into may be much less. Here in Olathe, about 75% of our auto burglaries are unlocked vehicles. If somebody leaves a vehicle open, it's very easy to open the door, look through, see what they can grab, and they're probably out of there within a minute or so. Um, and they don't look as suspicious because they're not having to break a window. But even if the doors are locked, Sergeant Hill says a criminal may decide that breaking a window is worth it. If I'm a criminal, I'm going to look inside. I see that there's a GPS unit. The door looks to be locked, but if I'm desperate, I'll break that window, grab that GPS unit, and I'll quickly go and pawn it. This vehicle here would be ideal for me. There's a bag right here on the floorboard, right next to the window, and the window's facing away from the, the business. I could quickly break this window, grab that bag, and I'd be gone before anybody else around me would even know that I'd just broken into this vehicle. Now see on the floor of this one here I can see an iPad and that would be a great one for me because I'm going to break this window, I'm going to grab that iPad real quick. So what's the best advice to help prevent this from happening to you? Police say protect your belongings by leaving them at home. If you're going to the store to pick up some milk or something like that, you don't need five credit cards and you know $200 in cash. Just bring what you need for where you're going. Um, if you have to leave your purse or bag in the car, we recommend you putting it in the trunk. We recommend you doing that before you get to your destination so that the criminals don't see you putting it in your trunk. If your car is broken into, try not to touch anything and call police. We're going to come out. We're going to dust for fingerprints. We're going to collect DNA off of any, any, anything on the outside and maybe things that have, might have been touched on the inside of the vehicle to give us a better chance of catching the criminal who did this. If anyone sees somebody suspicious um, in parking lots or anything like that, report it to the police. A lot of times that's how we solve uh, multiple auto burglaries is from somebody reporting seeing a suspicious person looking through a car. For non-emergency police-related calls, dial 913. 782-0720. In an emergency, always call 911.